Hello my friends, I am G Hondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Aurora. This is episode 31. In episode 30, we just started getting into um, a little bit of research that I've never dealt with before, uh, genome sequencing. So theoretically, we're going to start eventually building a new breed of humans, or maybe they won't even really be like humans. I have no idea. Um, that also let us build, or at least start preparing to build, uh, which planet did I put it on? Here. Uh, Genetic Modification Center. And in buzzing around, I did finally discover that yes, you do actually have to research it sort of like a, um, sort of like what you do when you're designing a, a new engine or something. Uh, it is in the design tech. And I found it down here under new species. So, once I get enough different stuff on here that I think it's worth doing, we will go ahead and we'll try it out. Um, at this point, you know, I haven't really done all that much research yet. In fact, we barely have scratched the surface, so I don't think that there's much point in doing it yet. And anyway, that uh, uh, genetic sequencing center isn't done building yet anyway, so even if I did, it wouldn't help. But anyway, we all, in the meantime, continue to research more of that stuff, and eh, who knows where that will go. Uh, in the meantime, our mining on Haley's Comet is just about done. And on here on Ross, I have put in a request for infrastructure. I think having infrastructure is the key that the civilian fleets need to actually start sending colonists. But we'll have to wait and see if somebody will actually send them an infrastructure. Then we'll see if they start sending colonists. But at this point, they're not sending me anything I'm asking for, so they're kind of jerks. <laughs> but anyway, I guess uh, I can officially say that you have an infrastructure to give. Maybe that will help. So you can supply one infrastructure that you can demand. See if that helps. They have lots and lots of ships, but I think at this point they're... Oh, actually they are on the way. I was going to say they're doing so much of their own stuff. They're kind of ignoring me a little bit, but anyway. Once that infrastructure arrives here, the population, it won't be much. It'll, uh, I only asked for one single piece, so it's only going to support a very tiny population. But that might be enough to get them to actually start bringing in other stuff and bringing in populations. So we shall see. Yep, they have brought in population. Far too much, but still, population is here. So, good stuff. Uh, how's our mining here? Should be done. Yes. Everything's been mass drivered away. Or is about to be finished, the last bit of it, I guess. Yes, okay. So now Haley's Comet is done. So we can pick up our mass drivers. With our mining team fleet here. Haley's Comet, load mass drivers. Let them do that. All right. Oh, we have inactive labs. We can fix that. We can definitely fix that. Uh, let's see. Um, it's really temperature that was bothering us, so I think I'll do one more temperature, or at least temperature down, and maybe one more just general temperature range. Between the two of them, that should help quite a bit. Okay. Alright, mining team is done picking up. Uh, how are they in terms of morale and fuel and all that? Feels fine. Morale's getting a bit low, so I will give them some shore leave. So go to Earth, uh, refuel, resupply, and we'll just have them hang out there for a little bit. I almost did unload all materials, but I got so used to doing that from the old ones. But I don't have to do that anymore. Just refuel, resupply, and then hang out for a bit. Okay. Good stuff. happening there. Okay. 
So let's check on. Okay, so you're still adding nitrogen just to bulk up the atmospheric pressure. And yeah, they have two infrastructures, but they no longer need any. So we can actually just tell them to go ahead and get rid of them. <laughs> I guess that's really all it took. They were that close to being done with the atmosphere. I knew they were getting close. I didn't realize they were that close. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'll just set that to 0.4, so they'll just blow a little bit more nitrogen in, but not much, so you don't really need to. As far as the people here are concerned, this planet is completely usable. That does, however, mean that we're definitely going to have to worry about getting some ground units here, which means, in turn, we definitely need to start getting more materials here. Uh, this planet has a fair bit, although we're not mining any of it yet. Um, but I have put in a request for mines, they just have not actually been picked up yet, sadly. Even though I know for a fact I've got... Maybe it's because Earth is demanding too many. I'll just take these demands off for now. In fact, I'll just take them all off. Don't worry about any of these here. I know for a fact I have some, like here for example, supplies. And here we have demands, so... As far as I'm concerned, there definitely should be automated mines available to be picked up. No question. It's just a case of that actually happening. Now if it comes down to it, I may have to move one manually just to get these things going, which is unfortunate. They definitely need at least one, um, at least one construction factory and at least one mine, so at least things are starting. But anyway, the uh, ground force I think will have to actually be first, and it wants only uranium and neutronium, which is good because both of those are here, although not very much neutronium. But anyway. Alright, well I guess we will have to do this the hard way. That's fine. The uh, mining team should be... No, not quite. Actually, that one's going to be full with mass drivers. I thought I had a... Is it a Balrog? Yeah, just a general cargo ship. So why don't you pick up stuff? Okay, go to Earth. Earth, 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 Earth. Thank you. Uh, do a normal refuel, resupply, what have you. Load us up one auto mine and one construction factory. I'm not sure if, how much room they take up, so I don't know if it's going to be able to do this or not, but we'll try that. Okay, that's great, except it's not actually going to go because it doesn't actually have any materials. But good try, thank you. Okay, so something blew up, but they fixed it, but that used up some supplies. That's fine. Speaking of, I was also building a whole pile of uh, maintenance facilities here on Earth. I still have a long, long way to go, though. Anyway, so be it. I saw a blue line there, so some civilian ship just came in or out. Probably a colony ship, but could have been something else, I'm not sure. I guess we can check here and see if any of these... No, I don't see that this has changed at all, so I guess that was just a colony ship. Which is kind of pointless, but anyway. Because they'll grow on their own well enough, it's not a big deal. Alright. Off we go. Ok, 
Him on them. Okay, where is that Balrog? It should be there by now, shouldn't it? Oh, it still needs a few more days. Okay, it's not as fast as I thought. That's fine. Okay, there it goes. Alright. So if you completed orders, that means you had enough room to pick up both. So they must be 25 thou each. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. So go to Ross. Come on. Thank you, Mouse. Come to here. Unload the mine. Unload the factory. And then uh, I guess you can just stay there for now. That's fine. I don't remember if I actually sent any fuel over there, so I'll just tell it just to sit and wait, and that's fine. Okay. There's a civilian going in or out or something. Come on, little Balrog. You know you want to. Hey, there you are. Ah, research is done. So should I keep doing this? Yeah, probably. Yeah, let's keep working on that. Okay, Balrog is done. So, all things being equal, this colony should now... Um, obviously, it's going to be very, very small amounts, but it is at least now going to actually be working. Yeah, it's an incredibly minor amount, but at least it is started. Fantastic. Uh, this one was done, right? I should go ahead and just abandon that. And I guess we can get the, uh, the mineral groups back to work on somewhere else. Swift Tuttle. Sure, why not? Congratulations. You're the next contestant of the mining team. They should be. Yeah, it's close enough. They should be fine now. Move there and unload. Mass drivers. Okay, do so now. comes. So it comes stopped for reasons that elude me. Awesome. Okay, we have arrived. Now we're dropping off mass drivers. Now as long as at least one of them is down, I can reset that. It can dump the rest of them at its leisure. enough. That gives a pretty good amount, actually. That's not bad. Okay, so clearly this scout wants to either be dealt with or scrapped. Um, I don't have anything else to scout right now, so I'm thinking I may just scrap it, just so it stops wasting uh, so much supply. But I don't think I'm going to get the maintenance facilities to support a 58,000 ton ship anytime real soon. So I probably should just scrap it and then rebuild it later. Well, I mean, I'm getting close, I guess. Well, let's do it this way. Per month, how much can I get these built? That didn't seem to jump at all. Oh, because you stopped to tell me the mining team was done. Thank you for that. 
Let's try that again in a month. Okay, so you can do about, I guess that's what, six of them, approximately? That's not bad. Now, if that ship can hold on for probably about a year, we should be able to get them to a point where I can overhaul them, which in turn just basically means gets them all fixed up. Okay, well, that's what we shall do then. Uh, oh, there's a... Another new uh, shipping service. Well, that sounds like somebody that needs some money to start from. Always good to buy their loyalty immediately before they have a chance to mistakenly get it somewhere else. <laughs> or give it somewhere else, I guess is more accurate. Hmm, it's not good when the damage control itself is what's breaking, but they did apparently manage to fix it. I think I put five or ten damage control things on there, I think. So, as long as they don't all blow up at once, I guess. Should be alright. Okay. So they're happy now with that. Um... They just lost another engine and fixed it, and now they're out of supplies. Yeah, this thing's like falling apart. <laughs> I really don't like military ships. Anyway, so yeah, you still have a ways to go. Okay. Uh, well, I do still have maintenance supplies on hand, so it comes down to it. What we can do is find that and just manually transfer up. There, steal some more uh, supplies, so if anything else does blow up, they can still keep doing manual fixes. It's not ideal, but it buys more time. What I should actually do, and once it pauses. Uh, nope, something else just blew up, but they fixed it. What I should was about to say is what I should do is see on these ones I couldn't completely terraform, how close did I get the temperature? Because that'll give me an idea of how much I'd need to create this new race. Uh, so 145. Well, that one was actually very close because it's what, 270 or 260 or something? Yeah, over 260 will do it. Fine. Uh, so that's what, another 100 and about 120 that we're shooting for? I don't, know if we, I don't know if we can get that far, but let's certainly try. We can only try. Okay, it's very close to being done here. And then we can finally have that ship actually be taken care of. Alright. What did we stop for now? Oh, temperature. Excellent. Yeah, these are going to start getting really, really brutal. Because um, it's basically doubling for every 15 degrees, and we're going to have to have this thing go five more times. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this kind of research. But we are certainly going to try. Because we are not quitters. <laughs> How are we doing on the mining here? Still doing fine, okay. How are you doing on your building? Oh, you're crawling along but it is going so the problem of course will be if as they get more and more upset they will start working slower and if uh, they get too upset they'll actually stop working on the thing that's going to make them happy so it's kind of annoying <laughs> but anyway but we'll do what we can do 
In the meantime, you are now big enough that I should be allowed to tell this thing to just come to Earth's facilities to, excuse me, for an overhaul. And that should, by all rights, help quite a bit. Having said that, they just, uh, no, you still don't think that's big enough. Am I remembering wrong what size that was? I must be. You are 58.3. Oh, yeah, okay. It's only 54, so no, it's not big enough yet. Okay. Not a problem. Almost there, though. There we are. Okay. In the meantime, has anything else blown up? No, but we did finish some research. I'll go fix that as well. But first, let's get the scout to a point where it's going to not blow up. That would be excellent. Okay. And we'll get the research going. I guess that's, I'm getting some bonus from this as well as that, so I guess this will put me at uh, 60 from there, 50 there, that's 75, so I guess that's not quite as bad as I thought, but it still will take quite a bit of research yet. But we will get there. We will get there. But I'm quite curious to see uh, how exactly this works. So. appear to be moving fairly smoothly, which I'm sure means something's about to blow up. <laughs> but so far, so good. Alright, something stopped for reasons that elude me. Awesome. That still has a long way to go. That clock is starting to come back down. So, okay. In fact, I think it might be easier to do if I do this uh, dual window thing again. Put this where I can see it. And just run the clock from this one. So 1769. Yeah. Okay, so they, it's going to take more than 17 months to bring it down. They apparently do about half a month's worth at a time, but that's fine. The important part is, though, that means this thing will stop blowing itself up. And that's really all I was interested in. After all, I did name it the Please Don't Blow Up, so... <laughs> anyway. Okay, how are we doing on research there? Everything is fine. Okay, I think that makes us at a good point to put a cut in for this episode. That's all still going fine, so that's quite a ways to go here. Uh, colony here seems to be doing okay. The stability is suffering. I'm probably going to have to send the Grand Troop over to help. Alright, well I'll do that, and then we'll call it an episode. So, on Earth here, I will go ahead and train up a couple of garrisons. And then we'll have the Kilo fly back and pick them up. So you'll go to Earth, uh, do a quick refuel, pick up a couple of troops. Actually, they're not built yet. That's fine, we'll just pick up a couple. It doesn't really matter. We'll just pick up some existing ones. Okay, and then let me know when they're done that. Okay, you can't pick up ground troops. Okay. Uh, then what bones was I using to haul them then? I thought it was the kilo. Or 
are these things too big? They maybe don't count as a battalion. Maybe I do have to wait until I'm actually done the um, the actual forces I'm building now. Because maybe, oh yeah, these things are ten times the size. Never mind. So I can only pick up these one of these size five guys. So we have to wait for them to finish being built. That's fine. We can do that. Okay, what is keeping stopping this? Oh, you're stopping because that order is still sitting in there. Blah. Go away. You just sit there and wait. Now the clock should jump nicely. Yes, no, yes, no, please, thank you. Oh, wow. Two more clicks, or maybe two clicks in a five day. That's fine. Right, okay. Now, a kilo should be allowed to pick one of those guys up. Ground force, one of the garrisons, does not matter which. Okay, let me know when that's done. It should not take all that long. Apparently a little bit longer than I thought. Yes, no, we don't want to load. I don't remember taking this long to load a ground troop. I guess I'm incorrect in that memory. it wasn't going to tell me that it finished that, but okay. Alright, never mind. I won't pretend to understand. <laughs> we'll go here to our planet there, and we will unload the 30th garrison, and then you can just kind of sit there, and you can watch from here as it arrives. Civilian ship. There's a kilo there. That's however long it takes to unload, but that shouldn't be too bad. There it goes. Okay. So now things here should start to improve. Yes. Okay, so we have more than the 18 they need, so we have a, a positive modifier, which means that if I just jump the clock a little bit, this will go up. I don't know how much it'll go up, but it will go up. There we go. Right, so that crisis is averted. Let's do it one last quick check on research. It's still fine. Okay, so at this point, I am ready to put a cut in the episode, what I mentioned about 10 minutes ago. Anyway. Um, so thank you to everyone for joining me today, and until next time, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching.